As you can see, we have drawn the outlines of the first metacarpal bone, the trapezium and the wrist crease, and we're uh, starting to inject using a 30 gauge needle, um, about one cc in the subcutaneous tissue of the uh, dorsal aspect of the trapezium. Um, and we're doing the same thing over the first compartment of the wrist extensors in case we need to uh, do perform a suspension plasty in association with a trapezectomy if the implant reconstruction uh, is not feasible. So now that we've numbed the skin over uh, the trapezium, we can switch on to a larger needle. This is a 25 or a 27 gauge, and we're injecting 10 cc's over the dorsal aspect of the trapezium all the way down to the periosteum. Then we're going to do the same thing over the middle aspect of the metacarpal bone um, all the way down to the periosteum. This is, injection is done very slowly. And then we're going to do the same thing on the radial side of the joint, aiming towards the base of the metacarpal bone, all the way to the ulnar side of the base of the metacarpal bone, with a 25 or 27 gauge needle, and then we're going to do the same thing on the ulnar side, and again you're aiming to reach the um, ulnar side of the metacarpal bone. And then finally, we inject about five cc's into the joint.